What's good, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tim. If you're new, and I go by Hot Shot Mac. In today's video, we are going to be doing a full review on my Ram 5500. It has 50,000 miles on it, about to hit 50,000 miles. We have been operating over the road, and that is what we do with this truck, doing Hot Shot trucking. We're just going to go over the full truck, talk about things I do like about the truck and things I dislike about the truck. So stay tuned. We're about to jump into it. All right, y'all, so let's get into the video. Let us do a full review on this truck. First of all, this is a 2022 Ram 5500 chassis Tradesman Crew Cab, 84 inch, four by four. As y'all can see here, this is the base price for this trim. It does have the 6.7 Cummins turbo diesel engine. It has a six speed automatic ice and transmission. Does not have an option for the high output. Now, this is the total price that I paid. 69,000 for this truck and just a few more optional things that was added here now i did not order this truck this truck was already on a lot so i'm not sure if it was an order that someone just passed up on but it was readily available for me at the time when i made the purchase you guys can actually go take a look back at that video a few nice things with this truck man and i'll show you guys the inside as well but for now we are going to start on the outside i'll talk about like i said the things i do like about the truck and then the things i dislike let's just walk around the truck and kind of show y'all what it looks like it has a nice chrome finish and again this is a tradesman so everything is going to be pretty basic we have the basic steel wheels they are 19 and a half inch wheels let's start in the front one thing i didn't like about the truck the headlights that came with the truck they were very dull they were very dim i did go ahead and change it out and upgrade it to some leds i don't know if y'all can see that in there they're much brighter overall so we did have to swap that out didn't like that it does not come with the fog lights they're pretty much ready plug and play if i wanted to go ahead and throw some fog lights on there it's got two heavy duty tow hooks which is pretty nice if you want to get anything pulled out does come of course you know all these commercial trucks do come with the standard five clearance lights i do like the fender flares that it does have and the reason for that is these trucks have a much wider wheelbase and it gives a great turn and radius I think it's 174 inch that might be i'll throw it in here if that's the case but i do believe it's 140 174 inch and it ranges now the tires i'm at 50,000 miles and these are what my tires are looking like still have a lot of life left on these tires they are hand cooks the size is 225 70 19 and a half 14 ply now the load on a single is going to be 3970 pounds and on the duals 3750 that's pretty good as far as the weight rating on these trucks and we put it at 110 cold decent tires i'm probably going to upgrade these tires whenever it's time to get a new set of tires like i said this has about 50,000 miles on it already and we still have a lot of meat left on it now the truck does ride rough the steering is rough we get a lot of shaking a lot of trembling to try to go through one alignment so far in the truck and they didn't actually get it right so that's one thing about these trucks and these tires that they get a lot of wear on the inner and outer of the tire you can see how smooth it is so that's one thing that um i'm gonna kind of have to get used to and kind of learn how to actually get a longer life i'm hoping to get at least a hundred thousand miles out of these tires but like i said this is at fifty thousand miles we still have a lot of tread the rear tires are also hand cooks they're a different tread still a lot of meat on them man after fifty thousand miles these have been holding up pretty well this is something I don't necessarily like. The catalytic converter is pretty open. Now, I should have toolboxes here that kind of blocks it in. But, I mean, cabin chassis, this is kind of what you have to deal with where everything is just opened up. There are things you can do to cage it in, but this is what it is. Overall, man, it's a very good-looking truck. If I had time and if I was putting in an order, I probably wouldn't have gone with white. But it is what it is. It does have, like I said, the 84-inch frame, which is good in case I wanted to do something of, you know, step deck or, you know, I'm able to mount my my tire my spare tire right there as y'all can see it just gives for a lot more room and a lot more options of what you can do on the bed depending on what kind of bed you go with i decided to go with the tractor style bed they have the cm flat beds and the different options that you can do this truck does come with a 52 gallon fuel tank just has one tank i've heard where some of them has two tanks so i do just have a 52 gallon which does you know well does good enough for me so this is the 52 gallon tank it's in the rear in addition to the 52 gallon tank that does come 
stock, I went ahead and added a 100 gallon fuel tank combination with this toolbox. Very deep toolbox. I paid about $1,400 for this. It has a very nice durable platform here that they built over at Trailer Wheel and Frame. I am going to get some toolboxes though on both sides. You guys will probably um, see that soon when I do pair it with my new trailer that I'm going to be getting. So stay tuned for that. All right, as far as the leaf springs, we have nine leaves on these leaf springs. And man, just look at those brakes. And so far, man, everything has been holding up very well with just being over the road and constantly hauling with this truck. The 50,000 miles that it does have is from just hauling and everything, you know, beefier springs, brakes, the tires. I think it does well for me, at least for what we do with this truck. So everything is pretty holding up pretty well. I do love my uh, tractor bed that we had installed. Sometimes what I don't like about it, though, is if it does rain, being that they mounted this at an angle, we do make we may get water in here at times. Um, sometimes I've had to blow it out. It did come with a spare. Do like that light up here, man. Now, if you guys notice, you know, they have different options here. We do have a camera up there as well. This is kind of like the light that came in on my on my Lone Star. So do love that. Of course, you know, the tow mirrors standard. I uh, do like the chrome running boards. I do like that. I kind of wish they were black. I wanted to kind of go with the black trim. Much bigger suspension on this truck. You can kind of see we have two uh, control arms there. Some beefy springs. I kind of cleaned the truck earlier, so it's a little little armor all got up in there. All right, y'all. So the GVWR in this truck is 19,500 pounds. The rear axles, which is the GAWR, is 13,500 pounds. Man, that's huge. So I'm able to put a lot more weight on my drives, not having to worry about, you know, if I have a partial on the front of the trailer. The front is 7,000 pounds. So all good numbers, man. Makes for much better options when choosing how you want to position your load and distribute your weight and things like that. On this truck, we have the 444 gears. I got really blessed with those gears because it does well for me on my fuel mileage you guys can see down here you see sway bars it does have some shocks right there to kind of help with the ride really great truck man now the truck does come with these standard keys as you can see just unlock lock and then if you want to put the alarm on did lose a little bit of luxury with the truck but it's a workhorse man so we're not worried about none of that i'm gonna turn the engine on just so you guys can hear what it sounds like hopefully you can hear what it sounds like after 50,000 miles i think it sounds pretty good pretty much like new let's talk about braking man i think this truck um and ram trucks overall have a great engine brake slowing down with a load without a load when I've got that tow haul and that engine brake on, I can come to a stop almost without using my brakes sometimes. I would fan my brakes. I'd let on them, let off, let on them, let off. And the engine brake does phenomenal with slowing down in this truck. All right, let me turn this engine on so you guys can see what it sounds like, and then we'll jump inside. All right, y'all, so I'm inside the truck, man, and it's not loud at all. It's a very good sounding truck. You know, it sounds good from the outside, but they've made these trucks, of course, to be a lot quieter. All right, right now, I just got the truck running. I think we're going through a regen. You can probably, you can hear the spray. Not sure if y'all can hear, but we got 800 pounds of torque, 360 horsepower, which of course, yeah, it's a little bit less than the 3500s, but I don't think speed is what we need. I'd rather have the power to haul, and that's pretty much what the 5500s and the 4500s are pretty much built for. It is detuned for longevity, as they say, and just to put less stress on the engine when hauling. I do like that option about these trucks versus the 2500 I had. It'll just rev super high. So the low gear as well, the low gears make for better, you know, hauling and things like that. So I love the 444 gears. 
I love that I'm able to get better fuel mileage than if I had the 488 gears. So we're averaging about nine, five, nine, you know, miles per gallon, sometimes even 10 or 11, depending on, you know, where I'm at, depending on, you know, how much weight I'm hauling and things like that. But that's going to probably be it for the outside. Let's jump inside and let's talk about some of the features, some things I do like, some things I don't like. And then we'll be wrapping this video up soon. All right, guys, let's jump inside the truck. As you can also see here, we have a key that we could use. I never use that key. All right, so inside of the truck. First off, let's talk about some of the things I do like. I do like the vinyl on the flooring, at least. Makes it easier to clean this truck. I do not like the vinyl seats. I like them and I don't like them. I like them because it's easier to clean, a much better look, but it gets really hot, man. The heat, there's no cooling or heating on the seat. So in the heat, it gets hot. You know, your back will sweat. In the cold, you, you pretty much have no way of warming up. So that's also a feature that I do miss is the heating and the cooling seats. But it's a Trademan. It is what it is. Still have my powered windows, powered door locks, not powered mirrors. I can't put my mirrors in and out but I can do my adjustment and I'm pretty sure that's standard on all these trucks. We do have automatic lights, headlights, so that's a nice feature to still have. What we do not have on my steering wheel, we do have cruise control. We have all that good stuff. I can go through the functions on my control panel, but I can't control sound, man. I can't control, you know, my music. I can't turn the volume up. I can't change it on my steering wheel like I usually could. And it's a tradesman. I do everything on the screen. This is what it looks like inside the truck. I'm sure I've shown this before. I just wanted to talk Talk about a few things that I do like and I dislike about the interior. Let me jump in. All right, so very comfortable, very spacious. Nothing too different from my 2500 that I've had. Now, one thing I do like, and we'll kind of, I'll probably be all over the place here, guys, just talking about different things. I do like my display. This is the 8.4 inch display. Don't think I could do with anything smaller than that, to be honest. What I also do like is that I can do CarPlay. Let me see if I can get this to uh, shut up real quick. All right, what I do like, like I said, is the big screen. For my CarPlay, I do not have to be plugged in. For my CarPlay, it is wireless, so that's a cool feature. I do like that I do have my four-wheel drive, my two-wheel drive functions right here. It's electronic. Push to start, so that's also still a good feature that I do love about the truck. My rear view mirror here, I do like it does have an option where I can, I never use it because it's just not you know really needed, but I have an option where I can pretty much use my camera for the back. I can zoom in. It has settings. I can zoom in, go up, down. Cool little feature to have, man. I do not like where they positioned my 12 volt. I don't like that it's up here. It's pretty weird. I don't know why they would put it up here. I do miss my mirrors that I had here. Like I said, man, this is a work truck. So some things I'm not going to like, but I deal with it. It's not really a necessity, but it's just nice to have. Passenger does have themselves a mirror. No light. Don't really like this compartment here, how it's open. I do miss the enclosure that I did have don't know why they took that away i do like the seating option here for the third option to have someone here if you just you know you can lift this up i don't know what the hell going on down there storage is limited man storage is limited i only have this here to, for storage it's not deep at all someone said to me one time i think they commented that check under the seat here i might have storage i checked i've got nothing under there like i said man overall it's still a very good looking truck everything on the inside still looks good still just doesn't have you know all the features i do like how it has some auxiliary options here that i believe are all wired and just ready to go if i wanted to like say wire up any lights or you know anything extra i do have that option here we do have our trailer brake here if we want to manually engage our trailer brakes it does have the upgrade of the i guess it's the c i forgot what they are another thing i don't like that i do miss and i guess with the standard tradesman is the i don't have any outlets in here so, you know i had a 110 and a 115 in my 2500 i actually had two but in this truck i have nothing so i'm forced to use an inverter this is a small one where i have to plug this into the to my 12 volt to actually get an outlet in here so don't really like that but can't really have everything man well you can you know if you want to get the limited or the laramie but you got to pay the price for that so backup cam i do have a backup cam that was installed when i got the bed put on that is the only backup camera i have i don't have a backup camera over the cab i mean over the chassis but like i said we have this that turns into a camera not really really useful because all i'm seeing is a trailer but sometimes we we do look at it so the back is pretty standard on these the only thing i don't have that i had in my other truck was on both ends we had little pockets that you can i believe they're like little coolers man you throw some ice in there some beers or something don't have that back here do have vinyl throughout the entire truck besides on top here 
And then the other thing I do like is, see if I can move this here. I do have two pockets back here on both ends that I use for storage. I want to say that's it though, man. Not really uh, much else. The only issue I've had with this truck since I've had the truck for the 50, almost 50,000 miles that we have in the truck is one morning I woke up to dead batteries. And that was because we went on a trip. We were out of the country for about maybe a week, a week and a half. I didn't drive for about two weeks. I left my camera plugged in. My voltage went down to about nine, eight or something like that. So I couldn't start it. It was a simple jump issue, jumped it and it cranked right up and it's been good ever since. But other than that, man, I haven't had any other issues with this truck now the main thing i do dislike about this truck of course uh, i've spoken about it before is let me shut this off the main thing that i do dislike about this truck man and it is an option to correct it and that's going to be the rough ride very rough man of course when you're loaded the more weight you're loaded with it's not as rough but empty loaded you still have a rough ride the suspension is much more stiff a lot of y'all comment you know get airbags get airbags yes that is an option down the road i'm not rich y'all so i do have to plan that out i do have to budget for that so i'm not really throwing any airbags on here right now but somewhere down the line i might be able to throw some airbags on here other than that y'all this is a ram 5500 cummins cab chassis 84 inch and i love the truck man i, I really do despite the rough ride if you got a truck like this stay out of shreveport going through it on the 20 horrible man but yeah that's probably gonna be it for the truck y'all all right y'all so that's gonna wrap it up for this review video on my ram 5500 truck just letting you guys know how i enjoy the truck how it's been operating for me now that we have 50,000 miles on the truck as you can see the tire wear is where it is i'm probably gonna take it to a actual truck place not necessarily a dealership to get an alignment and see if that kind of helps out with the wear as well that's gonna wrap it up for this video y'all appreciate you guys for tuning in much love to you guys man much continuous love and i appreciate all you guys Guys for continuing to watch the channel y'all noticed that we recently changed from hot shot mac to mac media tv i'm still hot shot mac however trying to go in different direction with the channel stay tuned for that as well give me some time y'all things are super busy you know we got a lot going on i still got these videos coming for you guys as far as sharing stories with other people out there that either do hot shot or are just entrepreneurs so stay tuned for that hope you guys enjoyed the video hope it was helpful like i said this was just a quick review on my ram 5500 cab chassis truck see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe like the video and i'm gonna see y'all next time peace